Next year, Ireland is set to decriminalize cannabis, cocaine, and heroin, as well as open medically supervised safe injection sites for users. During a speech at the London School of Economics earlier this month, Ireland's Minister of Drugs announced the new policies as part of what he calls a radical cultural shift in the nation's approach to drugs. He said an injection centre will open in Dublin in 2016, followed by the creation of sites in Cork, Galway, Limerick and other areas as needed. The policy is intended to decrease the harms associated with people using drugs on the street, as users can overdose or contract diseases and others can be harmed by loose syringes and other paraphernalia. The minister also revealed that the Parliamentary Committee on Justice, Defence and Equality emphatically supports the decriminalization of cannabis, cocaine and heroin, pointing to the enormous harms criminalization has caused. Quote, Too often those with drug problems suffer from stigma due to a lack of understanding or public education about the nature of addiction. This stigma can be compounded for those who end up with a criminal record due to possession of drugs for their own use. Addiction is not a choice, it's a healthcare issue. This is why I believe it is imperative that we approach our drug problem in a more compassionate and sensitive way. He added that while there is currently a strong consensus that drugs across the board should be decriminalized, the decision would rest with the next government. According to the minister, we need to have discussions like this in think tanks, universities, parliaments and small rooms across the globe, so that we can develop a more modern and comprehensive response to tackling drug trafficking and consumption. If implemented, Ireland's plan to decriminalize drugs and create safe injection sites would make the country one of the most progressive in the world in terms of drug policy.